Hey, this video is part of our Vitamix 101 course. Yeah, you can buy this course where you'll get the recipes, shopping lists, quizzes to test your knowledge, uh, support from us, and lifetime access. Otherwise, you can keep watching for free on YouTube. Either way, happy blending. So I'm sure you heard that your Vitamix machine can clean itself. Well, it's only partly true. You actually have to supervise and also sometimes there's a little bit of manual intervention. Like if you have children and you've ever given them a task, I'm sure it's a similar concept. Anyways, expect three different situations where you're gonna need to clean your Vitamix. First, daily, so after each use. Second is uh, monthly, so sort of a regular cleaning. And third is as needed, so a deep cleaning. Let's go ahead and discuss each in more detail. All right, first thing, the daily clean. So after each use, this is so important to keeping your Vitamix looking and running like new. Clean it every single time you use it. Now the technique is probably something you've seen in a demonstration. A little bit of warm water, a drop of soap, let it run, and it's clean. That's basically what it is. We're gonna show you how to do it right now. Fill the container about halfway with warm water. Add a couple drops of soap. Put the lid on tight. Start on variable speed one. Ramp it up to 10 and then high. We'll run for about 30 seconds. Go to variable speed 10. Back down to one and then off, dump out the contents, rinse it out, set it down to dry. And that's pretty much all you need to keep your Vitamix squeaky clean. Remembering the three big points, water level about halfway, soap, just a couple drops, and the lid, make sure it's nice and snug because otherwise you're gonna be having a foam party. Sometimes, depending on the ingredients that you use, if they're sticky like peanut butter or honey or even seeds, you're gonna to have to pre-wash your container a little bit. And I use a dish brush or a sponge to kind of get the sides of the container to get those really tough to get pieces. That's gonna ensure that the cleaning cycle gets your container perfectly clean. Now after all this talk about running a cleaning cycle with your Vitamix, I should remind you do not put it in the dishwasher. It's not dishwasher safe and it can ruin the components, thereby shortening its life. All right, let's talk about monthly or scheduled cleaning for your Vitamix. Because a couple drops of soap and some warm water is enough to clean the container and the blade, but there's more that needs to be cleaned on your Vitamix. Take a, a, a towel with a little bit of water and clean the face. Get in those dials and clean the dials in the back and under it. And you may not know this, under the landing pad, you can actually take this off and clean under here. Do that every month or so. Because here's the deal, people. This is the kind of junk that accumulates gradually and without notice. So give your Vitamix a nice sponge bath once in a while. It'll thank you for it. The last type of cleaning we're gonna talk about is that as needed deep cleaning. Because let's face it, some ingredients leave a trail behind. Some produce, garlic for sure, it can be a cloudy film or even like a foul odor. It happens. So what do you do when you don't want your green smoothies to taste like grandma's meatballs? What's well, this? As needed deep cleaning. So take your container and fill it about halfway with warm water and instead of a couple drops of soap, we're going to use one cup of white vinegar. We're going to let it sit on the counter still overnight. And the next day, pour out the contents and use a soft pot scrubber to get any excess film. And that's it. Now I know it may seem like a lot, but if you get in the habit of running a daily cleaning cycle after each use, your Vitamix is going to operate and look like new for a really long time. And like I said before, you're gonna be way ahead of most other Vitamix owners who don't make this basic care process a part of their normal routine. I mean, I think of it like flossing. Can you get by without doing it? Sure. But do the experts recommend you do it every single day? Yes. And 
Will it make your teeth last a lot longer? You betcha. All right, so that wraps up the basics of Vitamix ownership, care and maintenance, cleaning. And in the next module, we're gonna talk about the thing that you probably got your Vitamix for, and that is making smoothies, specifically green smoothies, and how to get the perfect consistency and texture every time, and also how to develop smoothie intuition, how to make a smoothie no matter what's in your fridge or if you don't have a recipe. So when you're ready, hit the button that says mark as completed below and I'll see you in the next module. Hey, it's Lenny Gill with Life is No Yoke. If you subscribe to our channel, the walls in our little apartment will inch in just a little. Like claustrophobic style? Yeah.